central here. So today I'm going to show you how I'm going to use the hedgehog to start the rehab on my poor sprained ankle. At the minute the joint is just too stiff and sore for me to do a lot of active weight bearing into plantar and dorsiflexion so I need to find a way of doing this painlessly and easily without weight bearing. So I'm going to take the hedgehog and put it against the wall where it's going to tip up and down. I'm then coming down into a bridge position, into a supine position with my feet lifted up against the wall. So my left leg is my injured leg and I'm just going to use my right to rock forward into plantar flexion and back to neutral and do that half a dozen times. And now I'm going to move into more painful and stiff dorsiflexion movement. And that's really not very pleasant, but I can bear to take it through. A really stiff joint, some tightness into my calf. So then I work through them both, plantar and dorsiflexion, completely non-weight bearing. I can take this so that the hedgehog rocks from right to left and put my injured foot into the middle and now start to take that into a little inversion an eversion. So this was a classic eversion injury and I'm really reluctant to take the ankle into either of those movements. So I fix the knee here and just let the hedgehog do its work. That's feeling pretty good right now. So I'm going to bring that back up and start to lift into a bridge. So I peel my hips away from the floor coming up into a semi-bridge position and mainly working through my non-injured side I push through to plantar and dorsiflexion. So I'm getting some glute work here, some hip, knee and ankle stability work which is really important after an ankle injury that we keep these muscles going and maintaining sagittal plane movement at the same time. So now it's feeling pretty good so I'm going to try and work 50-50 and put a little bit more work through my left side. I can feel my glute having to work really hard to maintain that. It's done 24 hours of rest and ice and elevation and I'm just starting to feel a little bit of laziness creeping into that side. I'm going to come down. This is a great position also to work with those of, for those of your clients who have reduced standing tolerance and balance issues but also a lot of stiffness in the lumbar spine where working into shoulder bridge in normal supine position is quite difficult for them to overcome the stiffness. Now I know you can work with your legs resting on a stability ball but for if you're working in the community they're not always easily available. Hedgehog is so portable and easy to carry around with you and a great way of moving up into bridge and then adding another element of plantar and dorsiflexion.